Bank of America is teaming up with the Arbor Day Foundation to give a $250,000 grant to four communities in the U.S., including Cleveland's Union Miles neighborhood. The foundation says tree coverage is linked to cooler cities, improved air and water quality, and better health outcomes. And communities with less trees and green space are more highly impacted by climate change and natural disasters. Tree planting brings so many multiple benefits wherever it happens, both creating wildlife, creating shade, helping to clean air, helping to reduce stormwater runoff and challenges. The Union Miles neighborhood faces poverty, unemployment, poor health, and has a tree canopy coverage of only 21 percent. That's higher than the city average, but healthy coverage is at least between 30 and 40 percent. Experts say that lack of coverage means people who live there are not getting the benefits those trees provide, like flood risk mitigation and protection from heat-related illnesses. The Western Reserve Land Conservancy and the Union Miles Development Corporation are teaming up with local residents to make the community greener. Using the grant money, their goal is to plant 100 trees at Jack Rabbit Hill, which is a former construction debris landfill commonly used for illegal dumping. They will also give away 100 trees to people in the community. Taking these big assemblages of vacant lots and providing a green space really does a lot to help um, stabilize the neighborhood, um, remove the ability to use the site as dumping if the trees can act as bollards, provide a opportunity for neighbors to come together and put input into something that they get to see grow up. Western Reserve Land Conservancy is planning to do a cleanup of Jackrabbit Hill in August and tree planting sometime in the fall. After planting, they plan to water and maintain the trees for three years. Jade Jarvis, News 5.